Hello again, I'm Richard Harvey and welcome to my studio. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about some woodwind instruments from Slovakia. Now I've had the good fortune of visiting Slovakia on numerous occasions, uh, performing and also working with some of the great musicians they have there in Bratislava. But I, I did have the pleasure of learning about some of their woodwind instruments and I'm going to tell you that if you are a Slovakian shepherd, this is the kit you need, right? Okay, maybe some of you will have heard of this instrument. This is the Fujara. And this is actually a relatively small version of the Fujara. You can get them up to two meters long. Actually, we don't have a wide angle lens on today's camera. So this is the biggest one we can get in shot. It has three holes down here and you still need to use two hands to play those three holes because they're set so far apart. And basically use the harmonic scale of this instrument. So you have, uh, you are able to play a full octave using these three holes. And beyond that, you use the harmonic series of the instrument because it's a very long tube and it has a very um, extensive harmonic scale available for you up there. Okay, um, I think this has really good filmic possibilities because broadly speaking, it, it doesn't have that national connotation that would make you feel strange about using it. I just think it's a really interesting sound and can create or, or contribute, should I say, to some very interesting textures. The thing I love about this instrument is it has a very ghostly sound. It's absolutely laden with harmonics and overtones. And the fact that you can use finger vibrato, viz. I think very few people would know what that sound was, and yet it can be very expressive and, as I said, very ghostly. And uh, I think one could weave that into a mystery score without any difficulty at all. It, this one's in D, but the really big ones are in the key of low G or low F. And you can write for them through their first octave, and then you just have to almost expect the player to improvise effects once you get over that octave. So that is the Fujara, and this, this is a true Gothic instrument. It, it came to Slovakia with the Goths. I'm not enough of a historian to be able to tell you in which century that was, but it was a very long time ago, clearly. Um, now, uh, this one is the Pistolka, and this is like a Slovakian, you can see it's decorated in a similar way, possibly even made by the same maker. And this is a, a fairly simple flute of a type that you see in many countries. Sounds a bit like a recorder, but it's slightly more reedy sound. So this is two octave range, D to D. I think they're also made in, in C. Um, they vary in sound from instrument to instrument. This one is quite a bright and brash sound. You can always uh, look for a, a sort of sweeter toned version. But uh, I think that sound would be instantly recognizable to a Slovakian shepherd. And I'm sure you know many. Anyway, here we go. The last of these instruments is called a a konkovka, and it's nothing but a harmonic series flute. And it's quite an interesting sound. It doesn't have any holes in it other than the fipple that makes the sound itself and the vent hole at the end. And uh, 
So you set yourself to play the harmonic series of the instrument and you use your fingers to block the hole at the bottom and create scales and melodies that way. So thank you very much for watching today. Do uh, take a look at some of the other films we've made and uh, I hope to see you soon where I'll bring out some, some other woodwind instruments from different regions of the world. But today, Slovakia. <laughs>